Hello everyone and Happy New Year. I know I'm a little late to this only because, well... But anyways, we're back and today we are going to be attempting, or I'm going to be attempting to draw U.S. and Canada's subdivisions. So in the U.S. it's states, in Canada it's provinces and territories. So yeah. We're going to try that. So, first, we're going to try drawing the U.S. Canada border. So, let's start off here in, like, the Alaska, with the Alaska border. So, I'm pretty sure it starts around, like, here, and we go down. I know it doesn't end off straight like that. I know it has, like, a bit over here. Just, oh, it's just the process. I got, I went a little far down. Anyways, yeah, we go like that. That looks, I guess, acceptable. Let's actually fix that real quick. I think I can do better. I okay, that looks a lot better. Now we have continental US and Canada. So let's start off over here in Maine, because I think that'll be easier. So, it starts like right here and then it goes straight up, but I just failed going straight up. Try that again. I know it doesn't go all the way up to like up here. So we'll go over just a tiny bit and I think there's like a little bit of a dip here. Let me go over and then down again. And then here's like New Hampshire and all. And it's a straight line for like ages. And then St. Lawrence River here. Let's just fix this little inconvenience here. Okay, now that's good. Now we gotta do this big line. So let's start about here. Go over. And I'll go over one more. And then we go up for the northwest angle and down again and then just that that looks bad i think i'm not gonna say that we should go more north because i don't think we should at least but i think it i can't get it at like the right diagonal if you know what i mean yeah, I think that's the best I can achieve for now. And then I almost forgot right here. So, it just ends off like right here along Detroit. It's like that, and then here it's just practically, a, it's not a straight line, but it would be a straight line looking from this distance. Because of the, of Niagara Falls. Now, let's start off with Canada first, because I feel like Canada would be the easiest. Let's first get the easiest out of the way. Prince Edward Island is just right here. And then Nova Scotia right here. That's already two done. And then let's just go like here. There's New Brunswick. Now here's the harder part. I don't really know how the Ontario-Quebec border looks. So, I'm gonna go over to Newfoundland and Labrador first. So, we're gonna go up like that, because I don't know how else it's supposed to look. Because I know that I'm pretty sure it goes down a little bit so it can connect. And then we just go over. And it ends, I think, up here, so. You go up, and then I know it has some like weird stuff going on, and then it just goes back to normal and straight up. Now, let's try working out the Ontario Quebec border. So, I think it's a straight line from here down, and then at some point, it just like follows some river or something. That actually would make the most sense, yeah. Now, 
let's zoom out real quick. Does that look good? Actually, I think this over here is wrong. So let me fix that real quick. I might have to go a little bit lower. So let's actually go like here maybe. That seems about right. Now let's just fix over here. The more I think of it, I think this border is like really whack. So I'm just actually gonna completely revise this border. Okay, now let's redraw this. So let me change the size down. Let's just say it goes like that. We go over a bit. And I'm just gonna go total whack because I don't know how else it's supposed to look. That actually looks a lot better. Let's keep it as that. Quebec now should look a lot more Quebec y. Is that the term? No, well, now it is because I said so. Uh, okay, let's go to Ontario now. I think I'm a little too close to Lake Winnipeg, but at this point, who cares? So it's about here. So I think it's a little lower. And then it's a little diagonal line. Like that. Like this, yeah. Let's just erase the other bits of the line. And there's my Ontario. Uh, I don't think it looks that bad. Now onto Manitoba. Here's where the hard part comes in. So let's just draw a straight line from here all the way over. And now I think of it, it's a little low because I know British Columbia goes just a tiny bit over. So let's just go like that. I'm gonna bring it just a little low because I know it's really close. Like this. Yeah, it looks, it looks good. And then let's just draw the straight line up for Manitoba. And also, Europeans are over here making fun, or I guess everyone else is over here making fun of how the US has straight lines everywhere. But then don't even get me started on Canada. It's just this geometric shapes all throughout. Yeah, it seems about right. This is literally just one big square with nothing in it, practically. Like, maybe there's some stuff, yeah, but... Okay, now, here's Alberta. I know Alberta follows the Rockies just for a bit, and then goes straight up, I just don't know when. I think now seems like an appropriate time to go straight up. Let's zoom out. Yeah, it seems, that seems pretty good. Now for the harder part. Yukon, Northwest Territories, and none of it. I know the order, I just don't know when it's all like, I know Yukon also follows the Rockies, just northern bit up here doesn't, so I'm just gonna have to imagine like some random line and then just follow it. You know what that seems? That actually seems pretty good. Now I'm just gonna figure out the Northwest Territories and the border, which I'm gonna have to figure out. I don't know. I know Northwest Territories is massive. I just don't know how it looks. So start here or here? I'm just gonna say like here or something. And then it goes over. Just go like that. Seems pretty, pretty good. And then I know they split an island half. I think it's this one. I just don't know where. This looks pretty good. That actually, damn, that actually looks good. Okay, now we gotta get on to the states. 
I just realized that there's not Hawaii here, but too bad. So let's start off in Washington. We already did Alaska, you know? So let's start off here in Washington. So I know they follow a river and they go to a straight line. And that's Washington. Now for Oregon, they cut out into Idaho a bit and they go back. I just don't know when they actually go back in. Let's just say they go back in about here. That actually seems like spot on, but I'm not sure. Now on to California. I'm actually kind of bad with, so let's just skip that temporarily and go on to, let's just do Nevada. Okay, that's the main out, main bit, but then here they have like a weird border with Arizona. It's like that, I think. Now that we have like the base of California set out, let's do the rest of it, which I think it's just like just following a river. Just don't really know how it looks. I'm actually gonna make Nevada go out just a little bit more. But, Make a little marker here for Arizona. And then let's just erase all this. Perfect. And now we go straight up. Now we have California and Nevada, or Nevada, however you wanna say it. We go on to, let's just do Utah quickly. I'm really bad at drawing straight lines. As you can probably tell. That seems pretty good. Now we gotta draw four corners. So actually, I th it goes out to like here, right? So we might need to make Utah just a little bit longer. Now we have New Mexico. That seems like a really good drawing of Idaho but I know Montana has like a little bit that like just stretches down that's what this part is and now when I draw this bit I don't know how it is supposed to look whatsoever my mind goes blank so what I feel like I should do is just completely ignore this area for now and let's go down to texas the so texas it doesn't go along this line it goes just a little bit south because of oklahoma and then we go down just a little more like here and now we just have like a little wavy line for like the river and actually let's go up here too and then when it touches Arkansas, it cuts into Arkansas, but it also, I don't know how to explain it, but it kind of looks like that. Let's actually fix it just a little bit. I feel like I should make it a little more smooth. That looks like a pretty good Texas. Now let's do Oklahoma. And now let's just draw like a straight line or something. It's not really straight, but at this point, who cares? That looks like a pretty good Oklahoma to me. Actually, I feel like this should be a little farther down. Yeah, that seems right. And now let's just practically just copy it. Erase the old line. That looks a lot better. Now, let's do Kansas. Let's do Kansas so we can then draw Colorado afterwards. I know Colorado borders Oklahoma I just don't know where it's like here ish oh no and then let's just draw a straight line stretching out from Utah and that looks pretty good now on to 
Kansas. So this bit of the line is temporary. It's not gonna stay because I know it's it, it's like really weird. Not weird, but it's like a little bite is taken out of Kansas, kind of like that. Now here's the bit where it confuses me even more. I feel like I'm actually off by a load, but I'm probably not because I think I'm thinking this is the Mississippi, even though it's not. The Mississippi is this way. But it's making me, it's making me feel off because I probably made one of the states really long, like probably here, but whatever, it's too late and I'm not fixing it. So if we do Wyoming now, it's not directly on par with shape of Colorado and all. And also, I don't think Wyoming's that long, but whatever. Let's make the border for Montana. That's Montana. That looks like a really long Montana, but who knows? Not me. Probably you, the viewer. Let's do North Dakota. I saw a video of someone drawing North Dakota. I think it was a Chicago geographer. And I learned that North Dakota is in a straight line on the border with Minnesota, and it's like it's like a little curved. So I think it's like that. And yeah, that looks like a really short uh, North Dakota, but whatever. I also know Nebraska has like a little bit of it cut out. So that's making me think I made Kansas maybe a little too tall. So let's actually cut out a bit of here, select this, and then just drag it down. That seems about right. Let's just remove the selection and then fix the line. There we go. This just made me realize, why does Minnesota look like that? Anyways, now if we try drawing Minnesota, uh, it looks really strange, but at this point, who cares? Let's draw the border with Upper Michigan, and I know Wisconsin goes farther south than Minnesota. So let's go like that. I'm gonna zoom in just a tiny bit because I feel like I'm zoomed out like crazy. I went a little far, so let's just erase that. Here's Iowa. Like, yeah, I agree there's straight lines everywhere, but at least, like, every once in a while, there's natural borders. I'm like, Canada? Look at this. The only things I see is the Rocky Mountains here, and then I don't even know what's right here. And they just decided to have it. An epileptic seizure while drawing Newfoundland and Labrador. We have Arkansas. Arkansas is complete. And now time for the epileptic seizure of... Missouri. How did I do this to Missouri? I, I, I'm sorry if I... Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, uh... Illinois. What did I do? What did I do? <laughs> Let's do Indiana. Oh, wow, I don't even want to look at that thing. Let's just move it off the screen. We're on to Indiana. Let's just go straight up like everything else and over to Lake Michigan. Oh, I'm so sorry, anyone from Illinois. I messed up your state really bad. But anyways, here's uh, Indiana. That seems meh for Ohio, but I don't really care anymore. And also here's Michigan complete now. Yeah, this is the best we're gonna get for Mississippi. And there is Alabama done. Now we have Georgia and Florida actually. Yeah, that seems pretty good for that. Okay, that's Delaware. Yeah, that seems good for Maryland. Now let's draw West Virginia. Nobody lives in West Virginia, so I can just uh, butcher the shape of the state without me worrying about being murdered. 
that's the best I'm probably gonna get, cause I'm bad at drawing, as you can probably see. For New Jersey, it, I'll, I'll just leave it as that. Let's do Connecticut, Rhode Island. That is really small. Let's do Massachusetts, Vermont. There's all here, and uh, well, we have New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, all here, and this is good. So yeah, we're done. Write down in the comments on a scale of one to 10, how well I did. To be honest, I think I did pretty well, even though I did mess up really badly on Illinois and Wisconsin. But yeah, let me know how I did. And, uh, yeah, goodbye.